Hello, in this video I will show you how to use exception time in your exceptions in your calendars and how does it affect Microsoft Project tasks, tasks in Microsoft Project. For this purpose I created two tasks, you can see, task one and task two, both of them are going to uh, uh, last five days. Now let's go to resource sheet and let's say that John is going to work on those tasks. Okay, 100%. Now let's go back here and assign John to both tasks. Okay, great. Now let's use task usage and you will see that John and Mary uh, sorry, John is going to work eight hours per day uh, for each task. So nothing strange here. But let's say that for some reason in this week from 19th uh, uh, of June, working hours for the whole company is 50%. So uh, not from... 8 to 5, but let's say from 8 a.m. to noon. How to do that? I'm going to use project tab and I'm going to change working time. And I will say that for this, I will say four, four hours work week in June. Okay, and I will say that it will start from June 19th, okay, till Friday, June 23rd. And I'm going, now I, if I let, uh, uh, leave it in this way, you will see that it means that no one will work in, in this week, this is non-working day. Uh, non -work, th those are non-working -work, non days, but I don't want to do that. So I'm going to change working time and I'm going to, to use it, but in details. And I will say it is not non-working, it is working, but only from 8 to 12. And I'm going to choose row number 2 and I will hit delete the button and I will say OK and OK. Now you will see that duration for this task is now how? Since this is six, uh, fixed units task, it means that for five days we will need 40 hours. How do we know that uh, uh, one day is eight hours? I'm going to see that in file options and then schedule. And you will see here eight hours in one day. And since John is working eight hours, 100%, uh, uh, he's going to work on task two, four hours per day in this particular week. And so it means he will fulfill 20 hours, okay? Five days multiplied by four hours. So how many hours are left? Well, 20, yeah? From this 40, 20 will be done here and 20 next week. How? Eight hours, because in this week we are going back to work from eight to five. So he is going with one, uh, one hour lunch break. So uh, John is going to work in this third week, eight hours on Monday, eight, hour, eight hours on Tuesday, and this is, also, this is 16. And the remaining work from these 40 hours is four hours, which will be fulfilled in, at Wednesday. Now, let me go and change this to fix duration type and see what will happen. So as you can see, I put here fix duration task and John. Okay, five days. But now, if I put here task one as predecessor and if I go to task usage view, okay, you will see that since John is supposed to work, and everyone is supposed to work, four hours per day. In this particular week from June 19 to June 2021st, 20, 20, uh, uh, 2nd, 23rd, that the rest will be done 
as in my previous, exa previous example in the rest three days. So yeah, fixed duration, five days. Let me go here and add type as well. So this is fixed duration task. And what if I put that John should work for 60 hours here? You will see that John is going to work 60 hours in this specific period, but it will be uh, equally uh, uh, increased. Uh, by that, I mean that, once again, from 60 for 40 to 60 or let's say 80 you will see that John is going to work uh, 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 now not eight uh, four hours per day by eight but there eight hours per day here and double here 16 hours here 16 hours here and eight hours here just because this is fixed fixed uh, duration and indeed that period from Monday 19 to uh, June 2018, Wednesday, it should finish his work. And he becomes overallocated. Why? Because here he should work four hours. But since we said it is fixed duration, okay, he's not going to work only four hours, he's going to work eight hours because it is fixed duration. Let me undo this and let me say that this task type, okay, is fixed units type. Let's say that this is fixed units, okay? Now, if I put here 80 hours, you will see that John is going to work four hours as it should in this particular week, but the duration will be extended until he is finished his uh, work. So 80 hours are going to be worked from Monday to Friday. Here, four hours means 20 hours. 60 hours are left. Here, 40 hours, which means in total we have here 20 hours. And the, here, 40 hours. This is 60 hours. We need 20 more hours. 8 plus 8 is 16, plus 4 is 20 hours. So it depends if you will have fixed duration or fixed unit task. If you have fixed duration, all the work should be done in that particular time frame, no matter what is your working time according to your calendar. Be aware of this. I hope this helps. Thank you very much. See you soon.